part on our last speaker of Act One before our beer break, and it is Todd Hirsch. Todd is here. Todd is uh, ATB's uh, financial chief economist, uh, but by night uh, and mostly by day as well, he's an idea instigator. Uh, he's lived in in Alberta his entire life, and though uh, the last 27 of that life has been right here in Calgary. Todd recently released his second book entitled Halfway Home and is working on his third, The Slacker, which will be released in January. Please welcome Todd. Calgary is an incredible place. The Economist magazine just named it in the top five most livable cities in the world. Still, I want us to topple some of our notions of urban aesthetics. In the words of Churchill, we shape our buildings, they, thereafter they shape us. A few years ago, I had the chance to visit Valencia, Spain. The city is home to incredible art, culture, architecture, and food. In addition to classic old buildings dating back centuries, it also featured dazzling modern architecture, like this striking building by architect Santiago Calatrava. Calgary also has a piece by the star architect. Our own Peace Bridge is one of Calatrava's designs. Since I've moved to the city in 1989, it's come a long way with regards to architecture and urban design. Still, we have improvements to be made, for sure, but things are progressing. This is another one of Calatrava's designs in Valencia. This, in the city of art and science, is a planetarium, a giant eyeball that kind of stares back at you while you stare into the heavens. It's creative and beautiful, but the whole project nearly bankrupt the city. Calgary, on the other hand, keeps it up a respectable pace with smaller projects like these metal trees on Stephen Avenue Mall. People have a variety of thoughts on them, but I've always kind of liked them. In a way, they're both gracefully fragile and brutally strong at the same time. But what I really want to talk about tonight is street art. Valencia's architecture is almost overshadowed by the thousands of street art pieces plastered around the city. In every back alley, laneway, driveway, or sidewalk passage, there is street art, like this beautiful example. Some of the street art borders on what we would normally call graffiti. But even graffiti in Valencia seems somehow thoughtful and creative. It is less vandalism and more design. Vibrant colors and vivid images covered almost every vertical surface. It's like a living, breathing museum. I spent an entire afternoon one day just wandering around the neighborhoods of Valencia taking pictures. This was one of my favorites. It took something dull and ugly, a plain old metal garage door, and covered it with something beautiful, playful, and interesting. Valencia, and many other cities around the world for that matter, have street art in their veins. It isn't commissioned by an arts council or organized in a way that we Canadians would like to have it. It's organic. Street art just happens spontaneously, and it's amazing when it does. Calgary has a tradition of street art as well. But as you can see, it's different. Every year at Stampede, shops hire artists to decorate their windows, but why does it always have to be so tacky and childish? Can we topple the notion of street art in this city to make it beautiful and compelling? Here's another piece of street art in Valencia. I want to be clear, I'm not saying we need to become Valencia. We are not Valencia, and I would never trade our city for theirs. But still, is there something we can learn about beautiful design from the street art in other cities? Street art that perhaps flirts with our sense of vandalism can be, if done well, still beautiful. This piece in Valencia takes a horrible boarded up brick wall, which was already covered in graffiti, and turns it into something visually appealing. It's about the craft of painting and design. Calgary Stampede imagery is all cartoon crazy and Yahoo madness. It's not that it's done poorly, 
and certainly no offense to the artist of this piece if he or she is in the room. But is there a scope for toppling the garishness and creating something more interesting and compelling? I'm not sure what drives street artists in Valencia. Some of it is political, some of it is ironic, some is clever, and some is just amazing design. All of it is interesting. Maybe we could start a new tradition of more interesting street art in Calgary. Maybe a contest. Because really, is this the very best we can do? <laughs> Particularly when, he, when we fancy ourselves as a world-class city. Maybe businesses could start a competition. Hire ACAD or University of Calgary art students to design and paint original pieces on their windows. We'd turn downtown into an art hall. After all, we do have plenty of glass street front windows in this city. Could we turn them into blank canvases, at least during Stampede, applying our own talent, wit, irony, and creativity with paint on glass? It could become a new tradition. Back in Valencia, I don't think the artists do it as any sort of competition. And I really doubt they get paid. It just seems to be more of a social license with citizens and building owners. Create beautiful art, and we won't call it graffiti. The city is a more dazzling and interesting place to visit because of it. Last summer, I purposely walked around downtown in Beltline looking for some piece that was at least visually interesting. This was the best one I could find. It at least has some movement and detail to it. Yes, it was still cartoon with a big yahoo, but I like the intensity of the look on the horse's face. <laughs> what could we do if we here in corporate Calgary got behind it? A student art competition, maybe with a $50,000 cash prize, a downloadable app for smartphones as a tour guide, even with the artists commenting on their pieces, it could become a major tourist draw for fans of visual art. Calgary, after all, is an amazing city, and we have much to teach the rest of the world. But let's push our boundaries and topple some of those old notions. Let's start with a street art contest, a new tradition, a contest to capture beautiful, creative, and artistic window paintings during Stampede. Thank you.